Okay, so for those of you that have been following my videos, I'm sure this data set looks pretty familiar. Um, what we have going on in the file in particular, uh, we have a number of surfaces, volume surfaces, tin surfaces, we have alignments, we have sites with feature lines and grading objects, we have gravity networks, pressure networks, corridors, and the associated assemblies. So what this exercise is going to display is how we can take our Project Explorer reports and elevate them to uh, be a little more visually appealing within Power BI. So running through Project Explorer, as you can see, we have all this great information that you can edit, you can isolate, you can tableize, and you can report uh, to external files as well. And this is an awesome tool, by the way, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at this, this is a, a huge time saver for a lot of, a lot of design firms. Um, but flipping through, going to the end, we've got the reports. And what I've done here is I've isolated just individual uh, types of objects, grouped them by individual types of objects. Um, and we're going to export these as Excel file reports. So we could either run selected or we could run all. In this case, I've already done it. So let's flip over to one of the reports to show you kind of how everything's being uh, displayed within Excel at least. So there are those files. And then if we open up the gravity pipe network, you can see we have all of this information being displayed. Personally, I mean, this is great, great information to be exported. There's a lot of value to it, but it's, it's kind of hard to really make sense of sometimes. So what I've done in a lot of cases, uh, a lot of my reports, is I've created a summary tab after the reporting is completed. And what I'm doing here is I, I'm essentially aggregating all the information, pulling it all into one complete composite summary table that I'm going to eventually bring into Power BI. So here's Power BI, and I've added some, some pretty neat graphics so we can start isolating in, uh, individual alignment surfaces, gravity networks, pressure network parts, etc. And we could start seeing and analyzing the data a little more um, and see how our files are being comprised, how our models are being comprised. So if we isolate maybe the existing road center line, we have all the information associated with the line work, the geometry. If we unisolate, we get this overall picture of all of the alignments. We get the lengths, we get uh, a quick view of what's all in the file. So if we switch over to surfaces, we have tint surfaces, we have the volume surface, and we have all kinds of fields that are displaying the elevations, the slopes, and as you start isolating, some of the surfaces, this you'll see this information update as well. So really cool to get that quick visual, that, that quick check. Uh, if we isolate the cut fill, the volume, you can see that information being displayed as well. Switching over to the gravity networks. A lot of the same type of functionality. We've got a lot of tableized uh, information, separated the structures from the pipes. I added a, a little graphic to show the minimum coverage. And as we hover over these, we can see what that minimum coverage is for each pipe. And then I add, also added some rough cost estimation tool uh, capabilities within here. So as you can see, as we isolate the sanitary sewer, we've got 30 inch ductile iron pipe in there. And if we update these fields for the prices, we could see that it adds a calculation. It calculates based on the total length being displayed. So if we isolate just one pipe, you'll see that cost per unit update as well. And everything is, is matching. So if we unisolate, it updates to the total as well. If we change the price to say $48 per linear foot, all of that gets updated as well. Same thing with the structures. Um, obviously there's a, a total cost for up to eight foot depth I, I've plugged in here. Um, we have a total of four structures, so it's doing a straight calculation there. But then we have some um, that, are, that are pretty deep. 
and in some cases there's an additional fee for each foot buried below that eight foot depth. So if we isolate just one of these and check what that uh, depth is, 274.333 inches, which equates to uh, an additional 14 foot depth, and it's giving that additional inlet cost. Moving over to the pressure networks, a lot of the same type of functionality. We have the minimum coverage, we've got the rough cost estimation tools as we isolate individual pipes. We could change these values and things are getting updated. And then if we unisolate, we get that total cost again. And moving down to the fittings. So as you can see, we have two fittings in this particular model. If we update that value. You can see the, the total cost on the right being updated as well. Moving down to the appurtenances, we have three gate valves in this particular model. So that's the total count. And if we update this value, you can see on the right the cost of the appurtenances goes up as well. So some really neat um, and very basic cost estimation tools and quantification capabilities being applied to Power BI. And, and so there's a little insight as to how I'm starting to elevate some of the Project Explorer reporting. Um, if anybody has any questions, any suggestions on improvements, any uh, comments, I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to reach out. Steve Walls at Hotmail.com. Thanks.